Well, hello again, everyone. I'm back. Um, feels good. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, I have finally finished uh, moving, got a bunch of schoolwork done that I needed to do, um, and I'm kind of getting out of this crazy season of life that, uh, that I've been in. So, um, I'm back and ready to, uh, start serving up some heaps of second breakfast again. Now, there's going to be some changes this year. Um... So basically, unfortunately, the first major change that is um, coming to Second Breakfast is going to be that it is no longer going to be live. Which is unfortunate because um, I know I had a lot of fun um, doing it live and, and having some some folks come along and, and comment and watch while I'm playing and stuff. Um, so, so that's unfortunate. Um, but I, I talked about it with the card talk team and we still, we still thought, um, second breakfast, uh, should, should continue. Um, but, uh, basically I can't go live because, really, because of my internet speed. Um, I live way out in the middle of nowhere now um, for the next little while, and uh, I can't get very good internet. So my internet speed currently does not allow me to do any live streaming. So um, until I can change that, or until I move again, um, Second Breakfast is going to be pre-recorded and then uploaded. Um, it won't be, it'll still be, it'll still be raw footage, raw unedited footage. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess around with editing videos and, um, making them all pretty and, and then uploading them and stuff. Um, it's gonna be just, uh, just like I would play um, live, uh, and it's gonna be everything is gonna stay like real time, raw, unedited footage. So, um, what I play for, you know, that that hour and a half or whatever is that's what's going to get uploaded it will will not be edited in any way shape or form um it's just going to be recorded and then straight uploaded onto youtube um and uh because of that i'll be able to then also uh choose a time whenever i want to upload it and stuff i can choose a time to record it so it's a little more flexible and stuff for me um, and, uh, you know, not being able to go live was, was definitely, uh, tough. And, and we discussed, um, you know, whether or not second breakfast should continue and, and figured that, that it's a, it's a thing we could definitely keep, keep going, but, uh, but it can't be live at this point. So very sad, very unfortunate. Uh, we can't go live, but. I will be here still every other Sunday uh, at the same time as usual. I'll be uploading um, the video, uh, whatever I've recorded, and that will get uploaded uh, to YouTube. And then, um, yeah. And then you can watch it on the on the card talk channel um so still every second saturday i think i had moved it to 
3 p.m. Eastern. Just for convenience sake. Um, so I wasn't cutting into too much of my afternoon. But um, we'll probably still keep that, you know. Um, yeah, we'll probably put the video up at 3 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. my time. Um, I think that's how it works. Yeah, I think that's what we had before. So um, it's going to be good to be back. Um, this will hopefully be... Uh, yeah, just a really good comeback, a return to second breakfast. Um, and the other thing that comes with that return is another change. Um, and this is a change I'm actually pretty excited about. Um, and I'm going to try it for a little while and see how it goes. But second breakfast is going to be changing formats a little bit where instead of uh drawing three deck traits um uh, if you've seen the show before um you know that uh we i i draw three random deck traits and uh <clears throat> try and make a deck putting all three of those together and uh and then go and play against a random quest with that deck uh, and then I'll have another one that I'll draw. I'll draw two different decks with three traits, and then you can pick and choose. It's kind of a, a, a challenge for every other week. Um, and so you can pick and choose whatever one you, uh, you want to build and play against that quest for that week um, and just do the challenge. Now, I, I've decided to change it a little bit and um and i've decided that i'm gonna try doing just two two deck traits um so i'll be drawing two random deck traits and i made this decision for a few reasons number one the first reason is that most of the time i find that my deck traits or the decks that I build are essentially built on two traits anyway. Um, you know, I kind of lean heavy into two of the traits and then the third one kind of sort of gets thrown in there maybe. And um, it's just kind of a tag on, it, it doesn't, and it, it slows down the efficiency of the deck and it just um, binds it up. It doesn't really add to the deck and it, isn't featured very much so I found that with uh, a lot of my decks that I've built is that that uh, a third trait just gets one of those three traits gets kind of left out um, and so while it's in the deck it's not really prominently featured or anything so um, that's the first reason the second reason is more than see I, I originally wanted to do three traits because I wanted a real, like, I originally wanted three traits because I wanted a real challenge. I wanted it to be really challenging. I wanted to, to make it a challenge to have all three deck traits combined and then play against a random quest. And it'd be a challenge that way. And I don't know, like... I don't know that I want it as much uh, that that the intent of this show is is or is necessarily that it should be challenging, but that it should inspire you to build new decks and use new cards that you haven't used before. Um, and so more than more than I want uh, a level of challenge and difficulty, I more want to inspire people. I want to see um, new decks. I want to see people use cards that they never have before. Um, I know um, it's it's helped me to use some cards and given me some new favorites. Um, and that's what I really want out of the show. Um, even just this next um, this next 
uh, challenge that I'm going to be doing tomorrow. Um, this next challenge, uh, I was introduced to a card called a, a Timely Aid. Um, and I hadn't really ever seen this card before, and that's because I don't play a lot in leadership. Um, and it's, um, yeah, I, and so I looked at this card, I'm like, oh, that's gonna work, actually, that'll, that'll work really well for this, this deck I'm gonna do. So, um, and, uh, shout out to Matt over at the blog, um, for, for calling my attention to Timely Aid. Um, so, uh, that's, that's another reason, anyway, that I, I want, I want to inspire more than I want to challenge. So, that's another reason I'm dropping it down to two. And the third reason is related to that, in that with three traits, it doesn't leave you a lot of room to play around with. Um, there's not... You can't build a deck super differently with ha having all three traits. Like, it's going to be, it, it's too formulaic. Um, I want a little more freedom in, in how that deck is going to look, how that deck is going to be constructed. Um, for example, um, I don't know. Do I have an example? Let me see. Maybe, maybe on my, maybe I'll look back at some of my decks. Um, some of the challenges I've done here. <laughs> oh, and my, yeah, my computer isn't even loading up here. Anyway, I, yeah, I just, oh, there we go. Maybe. Almost, almost, there we go, get, get to my decks here and see, so, like, okay, so here, challenge 13 was Fatty Bulger, Traps, and Dune here. Like, there's only so many ways you can build that deck. Um, I mean, your heroes, two of two out of your three heroes are already predetermined for you you got to play pat fatty and you have to play dune here and then uh and then you got to play with traps and then based on you need some support for dune here you're going to need to put in some support for traps you're going to have to incorporate a lot of traps and stuff like that so like there's it, it's very limiting what you can actually do with that deck but let's say you had, you even even if you take Fatty out, okay, so you just have Dune here and Traps. You have to have support for Dune here. You have to have Traps. You can put in a third hero, and you can you can uh, you can pick whatever hero you want to support Traps, or you maybe maybe it doesn't have to specialize in any Traps or whatever. But you have to have Traps in your deck, and then um, it just gives you a lot more freedom to construct your deck um your way and do deck building in your unique style um instead of instead of forcing because almost most of the time i've i've played one of these challenges i've felt forced I, i've felt kind of forced into building a certain deck it's like okay here's your traits okay so now you have 30 to 40 cards that you have to put in here because those are your traits and then you can mess around with the the last few cards kind of thing and I, I just I really don't like that I don't find that I find that stifling more than more than I find it um, inspiring and maybe a bit of a challenge but like I said before too um, that third trait also, you know, always just kind of gets thrown in there. And maybe it takes up 10 deck slots, but it takes up 10 deck slots just to take up 10 deck slots. It doesn't actually take up 10 deck slots because it adds anything to the deck. So, um, for those reasons, I've decided to try and format the show 
where I'm going to be drawing two traits um, for a deck. Now, I will still be drawing a bonus deck. Um, you know, ba back when we started this, we drew two decks, one for me and one for my brother. After he left the show, um, we just started going to just, uh, just one, uh, I, I put in a bonus deck, um, where I drew my deck and then I drew a bonus deck so that if you didn't necessarily want to build the deck that I built, you could build this other deck that I drew as well. So it just gives you a little more freedom to, or you can do both. Um, or if you're playing two player, you've got two different decks that you can still do. Um, just gives you a little bit more to play around with and stuff. So I will still be drawing that bonus deck, but um, both decks will have just two traits instead of three. I'll still be playing against a random quest every, um, every time. Um, Except for tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be uh, a quest that I have chosen because uh, for this for this special occasion, for this special return, if you will. Um, so yeah, um, so we'll be coming back, but it's just it's going to look a little bit different. Uh, it's um, it's going to look a little bit different. It's not going to be live. It's going to be. Uh, pre-recorded and then posted and then yeah the the format is gonna be um, uh, just two traits per deck so um, anyway this uh, this was just a little message to um, say I'm back and I'm excited to be back uh, and I can't wait to see um, see what you all have as far as what you're gonna build uh, what you're gonna create the world you're going to explore, um, and um, excited to be going on these quests again, um, and just to let you know about the, the changes that are coming, um, and I've got some exciting stuff planned, I think, uh, for this new year, and I will, I hope to see you all tomorrow.